to the people yep. that are like, yo, this guy sitting on millions of dollars, always trying to get attention, and now he doesn't give a fuck about us, so he's not going to speak out about it until this other dude's going to speak out, and now this is going to talk now. Great question. What was the question? He was just like spitting a fact. Now, I know these are just like his lackeys, and his point is like, this is all wrong, but it wasn't even a question. He's just like, he is, he's just like, right. <laughs> he, like, the only thing he failed to mention there is that it was a scam. But everything else, yeah, I mean, he's like, right. It's not like you were going to talk about CryptoZoo the next day or something. If, if CoffeeZilla never made the video telling the victim's story, this would have stayed uh, just buried, fading into obscurity. All right, let's go to the timestamps. I don't need the recap. Okay, here. If you put my name in the title and you label it Logan Paul's scam, you're going to get more views. The problem with it is that is that is not true. And I've made tweets here and there um, stating my case, but I'm going to give some context um, with with the back and forth that I've had with CoffeeZilla. So here are some receipts, um, again, just for context. His name is Steven. Uh, the first time he reached mm -hmm. out to me was on Christmas Eve after he released his series. Logan. L Logan, big guy. Coffee already posted the receipts. He reached out to you directly on Instagram, which was your only means of communication, by the way, since you blocked him, over a year ago. When that was a dead end, he reached out to your manager multiple times asking to talk directly to you. Jeff left him on red. It wasn't until every other avenue was burned that he called your manager, Jeff. Logan. Yucky. The, the, those receipts were already oh, posted. Okay. But you are right. He did reach out again on December 24th to your email. Again. After exhausting everything else. Again, because you have him blocked. And a misleading email as highlighted in my statement. He invited me on his show to come talk about CryptoZoo. Um, I chose not to do that because it is now clear to me that he's milking this. Again, why would he not? This is this is big for him. He caught a lot of traction. He gained like half a million subscribers. And I'm sure he got a decent amount of money pumping his Patreon. Um, but I am not interested in feeding into that anymore. So we'll be answering the questions that ho uh, hopefully he was going to ask me and that you're going to ask me today on this podcast. But that's just so transparently weak. Y your offer was for him to fly out to your studio to do it. So couldn't the same argument be made for you? Like, that's not a strong point that you, for some reason, harp on so heavily. His offer was to just do a general video call. In fact, CoffeeZilla doesn't even do those interviews, video calls, on, on his main channel. He does it on a secondary platform. So it wouldn't even be milking views or anything out of it. It's literally just getting the truth. Thanks to the resub, Brune, Spencer, Ringo, Supernova, Ace, Joda in the Prime, Elmo, Spider, Burble, and Mod. I don't know, Deep. I can't think of a really good change they've done. Um, I invited him on Impulsive multiple times, and he has not responded. My last, or my email to him on December 27th he was, has. Uh, hey, you Steven, just have blocked. Tweet. Since this entire narrative has unfolded on your platform, I can't imagine you'd having you mind having this discussion with me on mine. Of course, we wouldn't monetize. You must have this recorded this way before. Scheduled for January second in LA. We can consider a neutral location if you respond to this email by the weekend. Best logs. Uh, he did not respond to me, so I tweeted that saying I hadn't heard back, so I'd be releasing a statement. And then he sent me an email after I called him out. And a text, which I thought was weird, like a cold text. Um, hey, Logan, uh, recently got your number. This is CoffeeZilla. I'm forwarding the same message I sent to your email here as well. Hey, Logan, I saw your tweet saying I haven't responded, but that isn't accurate. I asked you for a comment multiple times over the course of a year. You refused. I invited you on my platform. You refused. You invited me on Impulsive. I refused. We're unfortunately at an impasse, so let this, me try this to get is us unstuck very here because I think people courteous. deserve to hear from both oh, of us. With the I'd like to offer you a co-live streamed interview about CryptoZoo to respond on tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST so no one has to travel on the holidays. So there's no editing and just us talking one-on-one. -on -one. This is the most fair and neutral way to do this. I will send you a video link if you agree. Here was my response. I sent him an email um, after I posted my, uh, my statement. Hey, Steven, just wanted to put my response to your scam allegations on your radar, link below. 
even though you broke laws, hardly oh. substantiated your evidence, fabricated dangerously misleading falsehoods, and wrongfully accused me of scamming my fans, oh, and no. still left to host you on Impulsive. Again, unmonetized. It can even be one on... Hardly substantiated your evidence. I'm going to give him leeway on the breaking laws because even I didn't realize Texas was a one-party consent law when it came to recording conversations on the phone. So he, he didn't break laws. So that's blatantly wrong, but I'm going to give him leeway because I also didn't realize that that was legal in Texas. But this, fucking yikes, and fabricated dangerously misleading falsehoods. What, talking to your team of criminals, like directly? <laughs> what do you mean? Ugh. Thanks to the tier one dildo and the tier one memories. And you said feel bad, ginger, sip, sun. Spira, Stellar, Batman, and the Prime, Punk, and Breeze. Hey, glad to hear that, Fates. Yeah, we got more coming. <laughs> Thanks to Tier 1, Tyrese. On one. Sorry, boys. <laughs> I'm interested in talking about your workflow, creative process, and okay. Let me skip around. I don't Hopefully, need to keep hearing him do this we, let's, recap. Let's right off the bat, as early as possible, here talk about the two definitions and the two things that are at play. One of them being a scam, the other one being def defamation, which can be libel or slander. So, <clears throat> if someone scams a person or, or an organization, they deceive them in order to get something valuable for them, especially money. That is the definition of scam. So. My, my first question, and this question was answered in his series, it was a five-second blip that was a part of a, a probably hour-long of documentary, you know, filmmaking, was how much money did you make off oh. the sale of the coin? Oh, oh, no. Oh, this is so much worse than I would have expected. Be just because Logan didn't make the money doesn't mean it wasn't a scam. You know who did make money in 7.7 .7 million's worth? Two of the other criminals he hired to run it with him, Mike. Yes, it is a scam, even though Logan didn't make the money off of it. Holy shit. Oh, goodness. Yikes. I am going to assume this had to have been recorded... A week ago. Or longer. There's no way he recorded this and released it today. After his response video and the reception and all of the points made about it. I refuse to believe he is that blissfully ignorant of what's going on. This has to be old. Thanks to Resub Xander, Forever, Honkage, Jack, Joe, and the Prime, Aquamoth, and the Gifts of Bob Dole. Hey, Bob Dole. Hope you had a good day. And the Resub, Sydney, Telephone, Benji, Blue, and Blake. Why would he upload it then? Ah. I don't know. This is wildly bad. This, like, this is just... He's supposed... So, the setup he's doing here is... Coffee refused to come on Impulsive, so instead I'm going to have my sidekick here make up easy softball questions that we think Coffeezilla may have asked if he was lobotomized. And then Logan tackles those easy ones. For instance, what is a scam? Well, by the definition of a scam, Logan, did you make money off of this? And I already know the answer. Well, no, Mike. In fact, Coffeezilla even corroborated this. I never sold the coin. That doesn't mean it's not a scam, Logan. Or, 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 or off CryptoZoo as a project. How much money did you make? Yeah, this seems to be uh, the biggest misconception. And it is... It's uh, not a misconception. We know you didn't it's sell. It's disappointing that that part was glossed over so quickly. Uh, made no money off CryptoZoo. Never, never claimed you token. did. Said yep, you didn't. Never sold the token. He said you didn't. Only lost money trying to make things right. Also said you did. Along with everyone else in the project. But Except for Jake and the other criminal. No money was made. Eddie. No tokens were sold. Except by those two. And, 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 and CoffeeZilla even said that in his series. Exactly. So to answer your question, yeah. No that, money was made that, by, and, by, by Jeff or I. And, and Thus, everything CoffeeZilla said was accurate. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, doesn't mean it's not a scam, bro. Talk about the leaked group texts about how this was supposed to just emulate another lucrative project to exploit your fans for money as quickly as possible off as minimal effort as possible. And then talk about all of the uh, uh, meeting memos about market manipulation and what's an acceptable amount to sell on any given day for the percentage increase or for the percentage effect on the overall tokenomics. Get into the market manipulation stuff from the actual group chats, man. That's what I'd like to hear. Jesus Christ. Just back to the flip side really quick. To me, once I heard that, that seemed just like a, a kill shot to this entire thing. Yeah, maybe. Uh, if your brain is very smooth, I suppose. Ah, well, everyone may have lost money. And the entire goal may have been to just exploit us for money, but Logan didn't sell. So I guess we weren't scammed. I can see how your uh, mind worked in that way, Mike. Thanks to the Prime Zero and the Resub Average and the Prime Plague Doctor and Tier 1 Orchard. Resub Steve Saw, Epic, Editing, Snaggle and the Prime Sunny, Soju and the Tier 1 Geister. Yeah, true, Dylan. Skip to 14-14. Yeah, I don't need to keep watching him tackle softballs. Now I'll play the other side. Sure, and I know what you're going to say. Oh, There's what? a ton more. It's very Another complex. Side. There's a lot of... No, 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 no. I, I empathize. I totally, totally see why people are frustrated. I'm fucking frustrated. I've been <gasps> frustrated for over a year. So... I'll, I'll let, so I'll let frustrated and, he doesn't and, and, and do anything again, about it while we made no money on the project which i think kills the scam narrative immediately um th there is more explaining to do what was your jesus intent <laughs> with crypto zoo a little f i felt that one i felt wasn't quite fair i'll, I'll listen to him but like Man, if you were to interview and ask my artist what they thought of people just ripping their work to shreds, and by the way, some of them do this. Some of them are like, post actively on Reddit hybrid animals, and the hybrid animals thread on Reddit is hilarious and has a bunch of likes and people commenting on it. But the moment that I say it's something that I'm doing, it doesn't work in that context. I think it was shined in a bad light. I think if it didn't have the uh, the negative outline on it, people wouldn't. No, 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 no. It the fuck are you talking about? It was stock images. It has nothing. To, even if the if the art was bad, if it was clear it was actually custom art by real artists, then the critique would just be, yeah, the art's kind of lame. The critique is the handmade art claim is wrong. As in, you're using stock images. What is he talking about? His, his claims were literally handmade art. And he talked about how many artists he had on the team. But it's, it was revealed that it was mainly stock photos. Now, the hybridization of the art with a panda with a long elephant nose, maybe you had someone drum that up in a five minutes in Photoshop, I guess. But, like, even that's a stretch. Thanks to Tier 1 Blue Wolf and the gifts of Boomy and the resub Nathan and Fuji. It is, this is much, this is much sillier than his response video. Ugh. But it is kind of just more of the same. Is there any other, like, talk, discussion he has that's insightful at all? I know that he says that CoffeeZilla is milking victims of his scam, which is a wild thing to say. Just get over it. You lost money. Stop milking it. That is what... Where is that, actually? I'll pull that up in case any of you haven't seen that. Where in this uh, podcast is it? Does anyone have the timestamp? No. 
People are just tossing out random timestamps. Yeah, I know the clip's on his Twitter, but I was just going to watch it here. Look in the comments for it. for the t Well, he got eaten alive in the comments. I already said that. I, I just wanted the timestamp for that other thing, cause, for his uh, milking it stuff. Because the rest, I, I already know. It's just tackling these softball questions in roundabout ways without ever actually debunking any of the claims with evidence. 2240, is that accurate? Let's see. Thinking it being like, how the fuck is this product this good? Mm. When you're doing these absolute, the games. like, we're there, watching man. a superhero kill Joe these side quests half day after day after day after day, none of these quests would be completed without your team. And when you win, we celebrate together. What I need this team to start doing is when you guys take a dip, you got to stop pointing the fingers at each other. When all this broke, when we were in Qatar, I'll kind of remember this. We were in the, the spa one day and I saw the pain in here. And this, like I said, this is not going to turn into a fucking victim thing. I just want to point this out. I saw this pain in your face, bro. And this like emptiness in your fucking eyes when, when all this was breaking. So that wasn't the milking it part, but that was embarrassing jesus christ mike logan when we were in qatar in that spa surrounded by topless women drinking expensive champagne i looked over you checked your phone coffee's only made a video with your name in it you knew it was about crypto zoo and i saw through the windows of your soul i saw your heart broke logan so i did what any good friend would do i put your whole sack into my mouth and i didn't want to logan trust me i didn't want to but I, I put it in my mouth where it was nice and warm and I knew I could comfort you in this time of need. And I'm not trying to play, I'm not trying to make it seem like the victim, but you ruined our entire vacation, Coffeezilla. All of it. Ruined it. Ruined it. Thanks the resub. Killer shine in the bits deep. So what is the timestamp to him talking about the victims milking it? Can someone give me the accurate one? Twenty three forty five is one of the most painful fucking things in the entire world. It's it's where where terrible. where coffee fucked up is by targeting me as some malicious evil supervillain. If he had told this story objectively. Did you watch the video? I have to wonder. I actually thought he did a really great job of talking about the other ones as being the really malicious evil supervillains and you being the bumbling buffoon. You played the comic relief of this scam, Logan. I have to wonder if he even watched it. Coffee focused very heavily on Crypto King and Eddie. You were just the dummy. Like the actual fucking dummy. Is there some harmonica and jelly? And told the story. It was about, as objective as it could be. Vilifying me. Regardless, we're still making this right. But in my opinion, that's where it got twisted and hurt the most, dude. I'm so I'm sitting in the seat solely because of my fans. I love them. I'll take I'll take any picture you want, unless I'm at dinner. That's my one rule. <laughs> Take any picture you want. <laughs> now you better get your ass up. You better wipe your face and get up. <laughs> that might be the rule. I'll listen to the feedback. I'll, 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 I'll see it. I want to put smiles on your guys' faces. It's why I do what I do. I, lo I, love, I love being able to come on these. You love your fans so much, give them their money back. Easy. Your fans mean so much to you. Wow, you do so much, you take a picture when they ask, holy fuck, what a saint. Give them their money back. Prove it. Give them their money back. Things in tier one, Quispy, and the resub Fuji.
he can afford to? He absolutely can. I got curious earlier today, and I don't know how accurate these things are. I was trying to look up, like, all of the known victims that have come forward about being scammed by CryptoZoo. I feel like if you tallied up most of them, you're looking at around, like, shit, maybe, like, five or six mil from, an, like, the investors. At least, again, this could be way off. It could be significantly more. But, like, let's say it is five or six mil. Logan Paul, with Prime alone, makes that in, like, a week. People are fighting each other in the UK for a Prime. He could absolutely afford just to give that back. Be like, you know what, guys? I really do, like, care about you. I'm not just... This isn't just lip service. This wasn't supposed to be a scam. Things got out of control. You lost money. Real people were hurt. And I'm, I just... I can't live with that anymore. I'm giving you your investment investments back... I, and since it's on the blockchain, you have the ledger, you can easily see who invested what so you don't get scammed by, by people pretending to be investors, and you could easily just give them it back and make it whole. But he won't. He could afford to, though. 100% he could afford to. No, but Charlie, he takes pictures with his fans. That's a good point. A picture is worth more than the millions of dollars that they've lost. Hey, babe. I, I, I know I lost money with Dink Doink from Logan Paul last time. Well, I did it again with CryptoZoo, but I got this dope-ass picture with him. Like, look at how happy we look together. What do you, what do you mean you're leaving? He is, don't skip podcast. He's refunding all of the initial investors. That would have been huge. And in fact, I, the way I know you're wrong is because I already read people's summaries of this. And everything, all of the main critiques are, why doesn't he just give the initial investors money back? So I'm assuming he is not. The bits deep table in the resub, Bimo and Shucky. Oh fuck. Logan Paul's response has six two hundred and sixty K dislikes. Not super surprising. Can someone please just I, I really don't feel like going through this because he's just repeating nothing points. I really just would like to pull up the part where he's talking about the people that lost money milking it. Can someone please just give me the fucking timestamps? People are saying 32. Okay, I'll try 32. Damn, taking place intentionally. Not even taking place intentionally, just taking place on my behalf. Why did you block him on Twitter? It's like a little gnat. It's like a little fucking annoying gnat, and it bothers me. He won, he won, he won, he got to me, bro. He's the, mo he's the most formidable opponent I've had. I'm not kidding. The guy's, the guy's good. He's, he's very he, smart. He, he's very smart. He manipulates the and twists the truth just the way he wants to get his people to believe a certain thing. He's good. I it's, think it's, what? It's, it's, he, it's marketing in a way, hiding behind the veil of, I don't make money off this platform. I'm doing God's work. I'm doing justice, by the way. Go sign up to my Patreon. Go join my Patreon. We're going to, we're going to. Uh Which fucking goober laughed at that? Like, this is a bad point. Anyway, he should be making money from his work. <laughs> Not to quote the Joker, because that's turbo cringe, but if you're good at something, don't do it for free. Like, he's the best goddamn investigator the platform has. He should be making money from it. I don't see how that's a critique. What's the criticism there? Ah, he did these investigations, and he makes money! He can't be trusted! Is the resub Shep Hunter in bed again? This is not the milking it clip though. Where is that? Uh, you see the behind the scenes of my ten million dollar studio. Ten million dollar studio. You got ten million dollars? Where did that money come from? <laughs> How? I don't think so. Al, I think I think he might what? be saying that sarcastically, he or he rented it. So, it's a, so you're it's saying a joke. He, so you're saying he embellished or like rounded up a No, I think a he just says it sarcastically. It's like a joke. It's but it's it's in his descriptions on his Patreon, which I joined. 
He kicked me off, though. He refunded him. It's actually funny. It's pretty embarrassing, though, right? Like, and he, he had a couple of zingers on Twitter. He, he kicked me off. It was like, who knows where that money came from? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. You got washed. You've been getting washed. Me. He smoked me. He smoked washed me. on yeah, Twitter. He, I'm telling you. I'm he's glad he can recognize also, that. He's a very formidable yeah, opponent. He's, he's if good. I were him and I didn't like me in the same way that he doesn't like me and and also realizes how much he can gain from putting me in his and in, in the middle of it and in, in now, in now it appears reactionary but it's this has been happening so that's where the defamation defamation piece comes into play which is, is is number five um and six we've given zilla fuck part four um he's probably gonna milk the shit out of this uh, he's probably gonna talk to more more people who lost money um and, and and that's where this also gets tricky because I'm not sure what he's fabricating or if if people are genuine about what they're saying because he doesn't verify backgrounds or like I said substantiate any evidence. So he's pro he's probably do gonna, you not believe um, there's victims? Um, uh, put 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 people who have lost here on on a pillar and 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 highlight them. That's what I would do if I were him. I'd milk the shit out of this. And like I said, he's probably going to. He's good. He's very good. Um, <laughs> they called victims, Logan. Part six is the more he says and the more he continues to spread this misinformation that this was any sort of con or scam, the more I have for the lawsuit <laughs> that I am filing. The defamation. I do. The disconnect in his brain is wild because he puts it on this lens like the guy, CoffeeZilla, is just someone that doesn't like him as opposed to a guy who investigated this fully. So he truly believes that everyone that he showcases and every story he tells has to be by a paid actor and can't comprehend that real people lost a lot of money from his project. Or maybe he can and he pretends to be stupid. Couldn't really tell you. But yeah, he just talks about the people losing money as being milked or them milking it. Yo, you, you got scammed. Get over it. But yeah, it is, it is bold. That is bold. Thanks to the resub, Milty. Thanks to the raids. Oh, hey, thanks to the raids, Small Light Mom. Hope, hope you had a great stream. Thanks to Bits Chicken and Snurt. Yeah, I, I started Dark Tide and I did like it. Thanks to the Bits Chromium. Yeah, maybe. That could be it. Thanks to Prime Red Light. <clears throat> to be defamed. Well, Again, there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of reasons why a defamation suit is not going to work for Logan. We we went over on the podcast today. I don't feel like just repeating all the points. I feel like anyone can look up any lawyer right now and all of them will tell you just how difficult a defamation case is to win. To prove that you have been defamed is one of the most difficult cases to actually clutch in a situation like this. It's not, he won't win. He knows that. It's just about bullying. Do 108.47. bookend this with um, what a funny picture no i got a letter from a passenger on a plane went kind of in the in the midst of all this um <clears throat> granted as a fault of my own but this was something i i really appreciated at this time in my life and like really really appreciated and I, I i appreciate it now obviously but like i needed to hear this at the time um i think we we're on a flight back from denmark to the states i think um, and this kid sitting next to me handed me this note and I, I had no idea what it was going to be. I, 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 I think I was in such a negative headspace that time. I, I was positive it was going to be something talking shit, telling me to go fucking die or some shit. What, what, a, what the fucking can you, balls on that kid if he did? Can you imagine? Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine that kid's like, holy shit, it's Logan Paul. Bro, my dad lost money on your fucking crypto scam. Read this. <laughs> That'd be so huge. <laughs> Just imagine the plane didn't land and he goes, hey, read this, dickhead. And he just sits back, buckles up. It's like, it's like, dear Logan, a.k.a. agent of the Matrix. <laughs> he owns you. You are an L plus ratio. I, I, love to, love, I, love little Johnny. That would have been fucking hard. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's yeah. what I thought. And uh, so this kid hands me this note and I read it. I posted this on Twitter. Dear Logan, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sure you'd just like to have a normal and relaxing flight. I'd just like to say... 
Your videos helped me through a rough patch in my life, and I will always be grateful. You made me laugh when I needed it, and although I don't know you personally at all, it was always clear to me that you have a kind heart and you are a good person. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me to say. While I have you here, I'd also like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season, and in general, wish you a happy and fulfilling life. You are a very beautiful person, and I really hope you know that. Love, Lane Schlegel. P.S. I also recommend you check out the book, The Pocket Pima Codron, it looks like. It helps me more than words, words can describe, and I hope it can, it, it can be of use to you. Real letter. Uh, hey, from Lane, at United PR Agency. <laughs> Jesus. What, what does this have to do with anything? Even assuming this actually happened, which I doubt, but... What, what? He's a tier one mic. And there he said Pablo, Pappy, Shazam, and Buster. And there he said Kid, Flux, and Tier One Chicken Man. And there he said Dinkelberg. All he has to do, hey Carl, all he has to do is read this letter in court and he wins. The jury would be moved to tears. They'd be like, oh my god. Well, if Lane said so, this man has, he has to be innocent. I, I think Stan, I really do think Stan's had the best take on it. Like, if he was Logan Paul's guy, he would have advised to just ignore it. And he's absolutely right. I thought the right play would just be make everyone hooligan, refund them. I think that's the morally correct thing to do. But if Logan just wanted the easiest way and just to get out of this as quickly as possible, if he never said anything, he would have been fine, actually. But now he's posted this on both of his main platforms, Logan Paul channel and now Impulsive. All of his audience is now aware of this. Now they've probably watched CoffeeZilla's video. And with all of that evidence, they're going to look at Logan Paul and be like, fuck, this guy hasn't proved, proven his innocence at all. He hasn't even mentioned any of the claims. So he really fucked himself. If he had just ignored it, his audience would have never known, never cared, and he would have been in the same situation. He would have been fine. His fans are definitely not watching Coffee's Villa, Coffee Zilla's video. I disagree. So I actually think since now he's posted it two times, they're going to be like, what is he talking about? What are these scam allegations? I bet it's a bunch of baloney, a bunch of fucking barnacles. Logan would never do that. Let me let me see what this is. And they'll watch it for even a second, like, like hate watch it. But then Coffee immediately starts making points and they're like, hmm. Interesting. His audience, no. I don't know, maybe I'm now skewed on what I think his audience is after the CoffeeZilla videos because everyone that he interviewed that got scammed for a lot of money was not a kid. They were young adults. So no, maybe I'm under the false idea that his audience is older than they are. I always thought he had like a Disney Channel audience, but after the CoffeeZilla investigation, I became convinced they were older. Plus he's in the WWE now, which is mainly older audience. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong fully. WWE's kids. You couldn't be more wrong. The squared circle, I think their like median demographic age is like 30. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like wrestling, I don't think kids are interested in. I, I could be wrong too, but I feel like wrestling is overwhelmingly enjoyed by older audience. Thanks to the resub Gandalf, Devbro, Novian, and the Prime Satan. And the resub Henry, Syllabi, and Juicer. And Hava. Kids love wrestling? I feel I just don't see... I just don't see that. I really don't. Look at everyone who plays WWE 2K series. Look at everyone who discusses wrestling online. Look at any wrestling TikTok and go to the person's channel and they're all older. Kids are very much more in on like the influencer space. And anything gaming related. I just don't see them being wrestling fans. (laughs) 
Watch the crowd. Oh, I'm sure there are kids there for sure. I grew up loving wrestling. I just don't think that's the current generation of kids. There's a bit chicken. Plus, WWE's still on, like, fucking cable, right? What kid's watching TV to begin with? Though I guess you could get, like, just the subscription streaming service to watch it, too. Things are so brilliant. <clears throat> but yeah, this is, uh, this is nothing. He still does nothing to fight any of the evidence-backed evidence -backed claims from Coffee. Rough. He needs better advice. He needs people around him that are actually knowledgeable enough to give him better advice. Jeff is a fucking bumbling idiot. And whoever is guiding him in this direction is way off. He's got a bad team behind him for this. Sag not watching his fake crying. Does he squeak out a few fake tears? Dude, I started crying in my seat. Oh. Which, as you know, is uncommon for me. Because you're a robot. Some say, <laughs> some say, some say. One tear from each eye. I, I tracked it. <laughs> you bottled it up. I, it was <laughs> currently for sale. And, uh, and what, what was your headspace at? Like, did you see the kid afterwards? Did you like... Yeah, absolutely. I read this note and like, um, my heart was so full of warmth. I guess tears were the only way I... I knew how to handle it and, and and I immediately went to just gratitude and um I spoke with him afterwards and I was like dude I I uh I know you don't know me but I really needed to hear this right now I really needed to hear this right now you don't understand how much this means to me now come work on my podcast and, um he's like yeah man I just felt something was telling me to write that to you and um we got in a conversation, um, studying oh, anthropology God. at a university, and I told him that it was just insane how 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 the reciprocation of energy that had taken place with me at a point in his life. Uh, <sighs> oh, wow, that is a a moving moment to be sure. Take that, Coffeezilla. That's the kind of man you're gonna call a scammer. <laughs> I think not. 